सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ लैंडस्केप डिजाइन गाइस दैट्स माय 3D कांसेप्ट आर्ट डिजाइन विद यूजिंग ईवी रेंडर सो गाइस दैट्स माय कांसेप्ट आर्ट डिजाइन गाइस आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ ब्यूटीफुल कंपोजिशन इट्स रियली इजी गाइस सो नाउ गाइस आई शो यू माय फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू सो क्लिक ऑन हियर सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल 3D concept art. It's really beautiful, guys. Now I teach you how I create this type of beautiful design. Okay, so now I select your all assets and like camera and light, guys. I have only cube. So first of all, guys, I create stairs. So change this cube setting scale size as this one. I like zero point two, yes, and height also decrease like this. Yeah, see, guys, that's my stairs, right? Okay. So guys, now I apply array. So click on here, use array. Yeah, and guys, increase this count. So guys, factor change like this. Yeah, and guys, wireframe check. So guys, this one also change. Yes, and guys, y-axis change like this. Yeah, and guys, go to on here like one. Yes, right. Okay, so now guys, I increase more counts. Like this, like twelve is good, right? That's my stairs. Okay, so guys, now I take one more cube, cube, and guys change size, scale size change, and height decrease, like this. Guys, go to on here. I take that's my y-axis zero point one is good, and like zero point three is good. Yes. So guys. Apply on here. So now, guys, I take this time one more cube. So duplicate. Go to on here and duplicate. Yes, right. See, guys, that's my composition. Guys, also increase height. Height increase. I like one point five. One point five. Yes, right. And little bit closer, like this. Yes, right. Okay, so now guys, create group. So select both and Control J. Yes, and guys, next one, I apply. I take this time, guys, use mesh and take cylinder and change, guys. So guys, that's my segments. Like hundred is good and rotation change. I take ninety and guys, that's my radius. Like, yeah, zero point five is good. Yes, right. And depth one is good. So guys, go to on up like this. Little bit down. Yes, right. See guys, that's my cylinder. And yes, all is good. So guys, select the cylinder and duplicate. So I change this depth. So scale size change. Guys, that's for my texture. Yes. Okay. So now, guys, I apply boolean effect. Boolean. So select this, this one. That's my cube, and apply boolean. This one. Click on here. Yes. And object, guys. Object is my cylinder. This one. Yeah. And guys, go to on here. That's my cylinder height and height on render. Yes, see guys, that's my bowl effect, right? It's really easy, guys. That's so easy, guys, right? Okay, so now I select and apply bowl. Yes, and guys, you can also delete this cylinder. Delete. Yes, that's my shape. And guys, select this one. Go to on here. Yeah. Right. See, that's my shape. 
right it's really easy guys okay so now i select this one both shapes and apply on here so go to an up here and up yes right okay so now guys i take camera so camera check guys set your camera angle guys go to an up and back yes guys press zero set your camera angle like 90 and zero and zero yes guys little bit back guys go to on here focal length i like 35 yeah really good okay so guys set your location like this yeah good see guys that's my camera angle and now next one guys i apply landscape so go to on here that's my add and apply landscape this one right select landscape guys i change my landscape presets that's my presets guys i like this one hello yeah and increase this landscape segments so divided 256 and 256 is good yeah so i see that's my landscape and rotate rotate like this like 180 degree yeah enter and go to on up like this and guys now i increase size so press s letter increase size like this press zero yeah see guys that's my composition and go to on here yes really good right okay so now guys i create concept art like rock effects so now guys select this landscape and duplicate press ctrl c and v yeah that's my second one scale size change guys now i apply band effect so go to on here and use simple deformer this one actually select this one and simple deformer yes and go to on band guys x1 change and angle change like this see guys that's my abstract landscape art right see guys and guys rotate rotate like this yes guys little bit rotate one here now guys press zero camera and guys set your camera angle smaller yeah see guys that's my shape right and now guys i change this time height yeah right see guys that's my abstract art shape right okay so now guys select this one and duplicate press ctrl c and v so go to on here and rotate this composition guys that's my rock rotation change yes much better and closer yeah much better see guys that's my sh beautiful shape and guys hide line geometry yes really good and guys press zero yeah and now guys select this one and one more time duplicate press ctrl c and v that's for my background zero and guys i increase size like this and up yes guys you can change also band so select back one and band change yes much better see guys that's really beautiful composition it's really good okay so now guys my composition is really good and next one guys i apply 3d character model guys you can apply any model i have 3d character model so like this and import guys scale size change and scale size change like this yeah and guys rotation so rotation change select this 3d character model and rotation 100 
yeah and go to on here guys closer yeah really good yes see guys that's a beautiful composition right it's really same so guys go to on here closer yes okay so guys see that's my final composition and next one guys i apply simple background so plane and rotation change also scale size increase like 15 and rotate like this 90 so guys go to back press 0 yes and guys set your background yes see guys that's my background and more go to back and scale size little bit increase yes see guys that's my final composition right and now guys my composition is really good that's my final composition and next one guys i apply materials so guys materials apply one by one increase size like this yeah okay so guys firstly create material for this one that's my shape so guys go to on here and guys use shader editor so create new yes and base color guys i take dark gray color enter yes that's my dark gray and now guys i have i take bump select this bump and next one guys i use noise texture select this noise texture yes and now guys nice structure and now guys noise texture connect with height and this bump connect with normal this one yes okay so guys click on here that's my render preview and guys i increase the scale size like 50 enter and detail i like 10 is good yes see guys that's my rock texture and guys roughness 0 0.2 is good and metallic 0 0.2 yes like main texture main texture enter yes and guys apply same texture on this one so create new main texture yes right see guys that's good and now guys i create material for inner part this one inner part so select and guys go to on here edit mode yes guys select this mid one so mid one selection so guys select this polygon face select and hold alt key and click yes see guys that's my mid one so guys deselect this extra part so holding shift key click so click and click guys only selection in a part yes right see that's my selection and now guys go to on material and click on here that's my add new material and assign material check yes and guys surface go to an animation color guys i use orange color this one orange like 0 0.024 1 and 1 enter and strength i like 50 yes right it's really simple guys and now guys select this one that's my second one same edit mode so select any polygon and hold alt key and click yes right and deselect this extra part like this this one yes and lastly click here yeah that's my selection right okay so same guys click on here add material slot click and assign check and create new material and emission guys color same orange and one and strand like 50 yes object mode and press zero yes see guys that's my composition and now guys go to on render setting EV render is good, MBA occlusion, bloom power, 
and screen reflection check yeah so guys that's a beautiful reflection beautiful texture and now guys i apply this one i will apply and now guys i create background texture background so create new and guys i create background texture so delete this one and use emission emission select yes and guys this time select this emission and press ctrl t yeah and open guys i have background texture see guys that's my texture guys you can download this texture link in description so open and guys this time i apply mix shader select this mix shader yes and guys connect with surface and guys emission connect with shader this one yeah see guys that's my background so now guys i apply more brightness strength i like like seven is good seven yes and guys duplicate shift d click connect with same color and shader two yes much better and lastly guys i apply light path select and select this light path connect with fact this one is camera ray connect with shader make shader yes see guys that's my final shader effect right it's really beautiful guys that's my final one and now guys i create texture for background simple guys i use simple shiny reflection so base color use black yes and metallic 0 0.5 and roughness 0 0.2 yes really good right okay so next one guys i apply light so guys go to on here color world property and color guys i use black color yeah and press zero click on here yes and now guys i apply light so use area light for top one area light yes so go to an up and so centralize select light area and guys go to on here like this and up yeah guys select your light and increase size guys size i like three is good and power 500 and color guys i use same orange color one yes so click on here yes really beautiful guys right that's my beautiful lighting and now guys i apply point light for side view point light so go to one here like this guys power 500 yes and radius 0 0.5 yeah and color guys this time i use orange color 0 0.6 and s i like one yes much better little bit more guys duplicate this light select this point light and duplicate press ctrl c and v go to on here yes and guys select both and copy so little bit up and apply on here yes so press zero yeah see guys that's my lighting and next one guys i apply lava texture for this one that's my side view side landscape so guys i use blender kit that's my blender kit add on guys free so click on here material and type lava enter yes see guys that's my lava materials it's really beautiful material guys right and now guys i apply this one that's really beautiful lava material and apply on landscape side one yes really good guys you can use any materials depend on your work like this one is also good and yeah so click on here yeah this one is also good so i like this one yeah 
much better. See guys, I really like this one. And guys, select same, drag and drop. Yeah. And lastly, guys, that's my background. Okay. So guys, my final composition is finished. That's my abstract art composition. And guys, select this one. That's my 3D character model. Guys, I apply same texture. So this one. So click on here and apply same texture. So guys, uncheck camera and guys select this one. That's my material. Apply. Yes. And apply. That's my material. Yes. And now guys, I apply same material texture on this one. So guys select create new. Yes. And guys select this one. That's my background and guys copy this node select all and copy press ctrl c and guys create this one and apply ctrl v yes so guys i change material output select this one delete and connect this one surface check guys delete your bsdf and now guys i change texture I like this one fire texture this one yes guys click on here yeah and guys set your UV so guys location change and scale size guys scale size also change like 2 yes see guys that's a beautiful texture and yeah all is good so now guys press 0 for camera preview yeah that's my final one right okay so guys my final composition is really beautiful and next one guys that's my final work so click on here yes that's my final work right see okay so now guys click on here my final render preview yes see guys that's my beautiful final preview Okay, so guys, that's it. My final render is finished. That's my beautiful abstract art. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.